two, one. Hello guys, this is the Sword Deeper here, and I am going to be reviewing the, probably the strangest season of Thomas. Season 12. This is strange because it uses models, yet the faces are CGI, so let's get started. Thomas and the Billboard. This episode was... So, this episode was stupid, and it's just... So the pros of this episode are nothing in this ep- uh, nothing. This episode is terrible. The cons. For the plot, the crash, and why is Diesel in the sheds? So this gets a 2 out of 2. 2 out of 10 rating. Uh, steady Eddie. The pros, it's about Edward, who's my third favorite character, next to Neville and Hector. Arthur and Oliver. They only make cameos, but it's cool. And the cons are the plot isn't very good. Six out of ten. Rosie's Carnival Special. Sorry that picture is horrifying. Rose, Stepney. Now, I'm American, so well, I got the voice. Point, Merck. The And Trevor, kind of. Cons, this episode is about Rosie and Emily, who are my two least favorite characters. Four out of ten. Mountain Marvel. Uh, it's about Peter Sam, my fourth favorite character and favorite narrative engine. Cons, Peter Sam acts like an idiot. They choose the stupidest engines as supporting guest. Freddy, Mighty, and Duncan. And Scarlowey, Renee, Sir Handel, and Rusty don't even speak. 6 out of 10. Henry gets it wrong. It brings back classic fives, but 4-year-old me just didn't like it. Oh yeah, this season is also very nostalgic for me. Because when I was little, clearly I was like 4 or something, I think. I don't know. Um, I just thought it was so amazing. I was in preschool, obviously. I just thought it was so amazing that... um. They, that the mouths finally moved, and it was just, I just loved it so much. I thought it was going to last for like one more season, but it didn't, they changed full CGI. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to do this. Heave-ho Thomas. <laughs> Pros, America. Cons, bored four-year-old me out, and then it scammed me into getting a take and play Hank, and Christian into getting a woman Hank. Hashtag make it rain. Six out of ten. Toby's special surprise. Pros, with, and taught four-year-old me how to spell surprise, along with part of surprise. Cons, bored four-year-old me out. Five out of ten. Excellent, Emily. Pros, Murdoch, Trevor, Jeremy. I think I spelled Jeremy wrong. Eh, whatever. Cons, nothing. Ten out of ten. This isn't the best episode of the season, though. I'll get to that later. Um, uh, yeah, and Emily sunk too. I like this. The party surprise. Pros, narrow gray dungeons. And, of course, it taught me how to spell surprise. Cons, scam Christian into getting a wind row and track my column. It didn't scam me, though. 5 out of 10. Saved you. The worst episode of the season. The only pros are Duck Donald and Douglas. Cons, the plot is horrible. 0 out of 10. Duncan in the hot air balloon. Classic vibes, but it bored 4-year-old me out. 4 out of 10. James works it out. The 300th episode of the series. And this is a great episode. Best episode of the season. Pros are Hector and Stanley. Hector is my second favorite character, obviously. And it, but it sold so much merchandise. There was a take long set. There was a track master set. And um, ten off dead. It was a great way to celebrate the three hundredth episode of the season series. Tram trouble. A, a new tram engine could have been so good, but she, she was only made to sell merchandise. Three out of ten. Don't go back. Pros nostalgia. This is the episode I remember most from season 12. I, like, I watched it so much. I just love watching Tom. I just love watching um Thomas and Diesel just bash into Ari and Bert in the sheds. Even though that makes me feel so bad. It was so cool. And then Nate's. And then the cons, Diesel's voice. It's like, hello, Thomas. I oh, know. It's like, hello, I can't even do it. 8 out of 10. Gordon takes a shortcut. Pros, Oliver, Toad, Duck, Ben, and Stanley. Cons, where's Bill? And then, uh, this is 7 out of 10. The Man in the Hills. Pros, it's an air page episode. Cons, made to sell merchandise and bored to four year old me out. Four out of ten. Thomas puts the brakes on. Pros, the crash. Murdoch and Stanley. Cons, the plot is eh. Eight out of ten. Percy and the bandstand. The pros are Jack, Alfie, and Max. Or, or Monty. I think it's Max. The cons, the plot is eh. Five out of ten. Push me, pull you. Pros, the crashes. Cons, Scarlowey's way out of character. Scarlowey's supposed to be an old, wise engine, and he just acts like a two-year-old. He acts dumber than Peter Sam did in Mountain Marvel, and that's saying a lot. Seven out of ten. 
Best friends, Crows, Neville, and Duck. Which is, Neville's my favorite character. Cons, everything else. 7 out of 10. Now, I did not make a slide about the final rating of the season. But the final rating of the season is, it brings back so much nostalgia for when I was little. I loved it so much. The season gets a 10 out of 10 for nostalgia. Though only two episodes actually got the ranking of 10 out of 10, being... James Works Out and Excellent Emily. It was still an awesome season and just means back so many memories. I was wondering the top five. The top five. Number one, James Works Out. Number two, Excellent Emily. Number three. <laughs> number three is um Don't Go Back. Number four is Gordon Takes a Shortcut. And number five is Best Friends. And then the worst ones. Number one worst is Saved You, then Thomas and the Billboard, then Tram Trouble, and then, um, Rose Carnival Special, and then Tonkin on the Hot Airplane. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe today. You can take a look at these one more time. <laughs> the funnest slide to make. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe today. Bye.